independent, incorruptible, generous and collegial are some of the words that were used to describe the former Supreme Court Justice Wilson Sekoko during a requiem service held in his honor. Leading figures in the judiciary attended the service during which Chief Justice Pat Katurebe recalled the late Sekoko's willingness to help out others. And if you fail to write it in time, then him at that time he was the leader, the administrative leader of the court. You go and draft, and then he brings it to you and says, I've drafted this, and, uh, and we move on. Sekoko is mostly remembered for two judgments on presidential election petitions in 2001 and 2006, in which he unsuccessfully judged to annul the elections. I have been attracted by the extreme diligence that he has attached to his public service. And this is not because he made a favorable judgment in my petition. Sekoko, with six other members of the Supreme Court, shall also be remembered for serving four suspended NRM party members, Theodore Sechkubo, Barnabas Tinka Simide, Mohamed Nsereko and Wilfred Nwagaba from being forced to vacate their parliamentary seats. You know a case where you have the head of state coming up against members of parliament, members of his party, and he really was one, who's one of those courageous justices who stood their ground. But the judgments today judges are giving, you say, is this man up to the task? You are, for God's sake, in the Supreme Court, where they expect you to dispense nothing but justice, but you, you deliver a political judgment, you fall sick. A few members of the NRM present at the service reiterated the positions he took in rulings as indicative of his stature. It was the justice decision and he was entitled to it because he did a professional job and that was his entitlement according to, to, to this discretion of justice. Sekoko succumbed to prostate cancer on Monday. And based on the report, we thought the disease was cured. Unfortunately, about 2015, the disease recurred. Sekoko was a former member of parliament who is survived by a widow and eight children. He will be laid to rest on Saturday in Manafa district. Jackson Onyango, NTV Tonight.